training camp is here. It is here. It has arrived. First practice just ended today. And we got a lot to talk about. Got a lot to talk about, man. So, we're going to get right into it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Before you get too far into it, like, comment, subscribe to the PSN Commanders Network for all your commanders needs and wants. Also, subscribe to Life of Tone channel for all of your uh, reaction videos, things of that nature. That's a lot of fashion channel for all your fashion tips. Let's get right into today's video. Jay and Dangs, man. Jay and Dangs. Welcome back to the PSN Commanders Network. It's your boy Tonka A Tech. I'm back with another video. If I get to a glory to God, for God's right now, God's open doors and paving ways for all the people in the Lord's name. Pretty much today, video here at the Washington Commanders. If I get too far into a quick verse of the day, man, I only rock. Uh, Psalms 41 42, verse 1. As a deer pants for streams of water, my soul pants for you, my God. So we gotta, gotta call out to God, you know what I'm saying? Someone to, to, to tell him, ask him what he wants from us, you know what I'm saying. And, and and be desperate for it, panting like, like like you need water, like you like you you parched. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right into today's video though. So we're gonna knock out this training camp day one recap. Uh, out of John Kime and Jack Selby for their contributions on their coverage today. We're gonna X and see what it's hitting on, man. Let's Oh, the train came right So we're gonna talk about the recap. So she's going for individual drills. That's Daxy Dax, aka but still your girl. Got Luke. The guy Dax is supposed to be. That's that. Mario to take the first steps in team drills, raise hill. So, you know, Mario got the start today, basically. That's basically what we say to the first snap. Clearly, Lucas starting to left tackle 14 drills, raise hill. It gave him C. Luke every opportunity to be the starting left tackle. I love it. I want more of it. Nice move by Luke McCaffrey on a pass for Mario to make the defender miss before moving down the sideline to the end zone, raise hill. Looky Luke! Looky Luke! Looky Luke, baby! Looky Luke! Shot, 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 Luke McCaffrey, man. Day, day's reps. Three or four in a run. Touchdown to Zachary Ertz. Raise hell, baby! Look at Zachary Ertz, man. Uh, dang, starting seven on seven drills. Touchdown for the offense. Kevin Allen with a dying grab by Jay Daniels one play later. Bates powers four for another touchdown. Raise hell. Raise hell. So, hey, man, that, that's, that's JD's second touchdown of the day. My usher, my usher joke, you know what I'm saying? Two of them days, baby. Uh, Dave's over the team drill with a third touchdown pass to Brian Robinson in the corner end zone. Raise hell. Jane Dang with a dime. Dizzy dime. Dime piece. To Brian Ross in the back, right corner of the end zone. Good route, good catch, TD. Oh, raise hell, baby. Another TD from Daniel to Casimir Allen. Four of them things. Four of them things today. Four of them. Daniel's having a, an exceptional start to camp. Finish the team 4-4 and a handoff. Other than one PBU, he's been pretty flawless. Raise hell. Amen. Amen, baby. We like we like we like to see it. We like to see it, baby. We like to see it. Let me see some things Terry talking about real quick. So um hopefully I'm looking forward to that definitely. 
Terry, you mentioned Terry uh, jacked uh, up, Slim. Hey, Terry strong too. A process today. Mm-hmm. You guys were focusing on the red zone. Yeah. Obviously, from a timing perspective, not a lot of space down there. That's got to be key. How do you sure. build on that? specifically the red zone with uh, with the new quarterback? Uh, definitely. I think uh, red zone is uh, can be difficult for offenses sometimes because uh, you don't have as much room to operate. And the defense has to go back in line as another defender versus when you're kind of out by the opposite 40 or you have more field to work with. So the spacing and, and timing is even more paramount when you're in the red zone. And so um, that's why you have to really detail be detail-oriented and where your splits are as receivers, tight ends, all skill positions. And the depths of your route, you don't want to be in someone else's uh, space when you're running your route. And so, um, you know, him and I connected on a hitch route, which could kind of be tough, you know, down in the red zone because, again, they have that back line defender. So some DBs are not even worried about you running that far or they have enough makeup speed to get there. So my objective in that situation is try to make that DB feel my speed and kind of get a quick release. And I think what he talked about after that was really important, where even if that DB may be playing in your back hip, like ball placement is very key in those situations. Um, and I think he did a great job. You want to try to leave that ball either low and away or high on my outside shoulder. So I can, even if it's a bang, bang play, I have a chance to get it versus you leave the ball inside, then it, it could get a little muddy. So he just has a natural feel for that. And, and you can see it by the way he operates, but also uh, by his actions as well. And, you know, it's, I'm not watch the whole thing, but yeah, that's shot. Terry McLaurin to our James Daniels there about the ball placement. Uh, Terry McLaurin addressing the media at the practice said he's normally been a leader by example, but as time goes on, he's learned to speak up and be a voice for his teammates. Raise hell, and that's something he defended. Uh, he defended uh, Cole Turner last year when St. Juice lit him up and smacked the living crap out of him and stood over my like, like, like Cole was a hoe or something. And, uh, and Terry won for it. Terry like, oh, hell no. Nah, we ain't doing that around here, bro. Cut that out, guy. And saying you want to try to hit none of that. Man, Terry about to steal I, I think Terry won't steal him. I ain't going to hold it. Rightfully so. Like, like, can't be doing goofy stuff like that. John Allen, addressing the media, said Dad Quinn brings a lot of energy and keeps everyone locked in. Raise hell. Raise hell! Allen said the team is focused on the little, on the small stuff, right? I really said on the small stuff, right? Uh, it's nothing monumental, but feel like the more spend time on the minute details, uh, his skill set can help elevate this game. Raise hell, man! Oh, for real, no bat. After John Newton took some reps as an individual, the individual drills. John Allen would spend a minute talking to him, providing little tips. Uh, Newton missed a lot of spring workouts because foot injury, so he needs to get coached a bit up this summer. Hey, man, it's all right. No bat. Oh yeah. So quick, quick, quick. Uh. Quick news there, Nikki Javala, John Kime, all of them already talked about this, but Johnny Newton, man, your Zion Newton has been activated off the NFL list. He practiced today, got some individual drills in. I don't even participate in the team drills, but he did, he did participate in the individuals for sure. Uh, they're going to ease him, man, you know, get a little bit more to consume every day, not OD on it, not push him out there, like, and throw him to the wolves, but, you know, slowly ease him into the rotation, which is good. Shout out to Jazan, Jazan, Johnny Newton. It's back. Like, cook, you know what? The C word. You hear me? Oh, no. Oh, but yeah, man. Oh, I'm excited, man. Jay Nanny lit it up today. He was shot. He was lighting him up. He was doing this stuff. Dilly, for TDs. Through four of them stays a day, baby. Four of them stays. Ah! B Ron. Ah! Kaz Allen. Ah! Who else, who else got one? Ertz. Zachary. Ah! You <laughs> light him up, cuz. <laughs> You're doing a thug too. I don't know who the fourth. I forgot who the fourth went to. And it was Kaz Allen. It was uh, was it Luke McCaffrey? I mean Luke McCaffrey, bro. Wait, I need to double check that. <laughs> he brewed for them things though, which is pretty good. I don't. He only brewed one of Terry McLaurin. So one of Kaz Allen for sure. Uh, B Rob, one of Kaz Allen, two of the Kaz Allen. Then. So, oh, no, no, no. Okay, no. It's John Bates. John Bates caught a touchdown pass. Kaz Allen caught the touchdown that the, the pass that set up the touchdown pass. And then we had B Rob. Kaz Allen catch another pass. Um, Kaz Allen's not doing his thing today. Look at Kaz Allen. Look at Kaz Allen, man. Trying to make the roster. Oh, 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 Kaz. Kaz. You doing that, Kaz Allen? Okay. Nice trade kid debut, sir. Dive and catch, touchdown catch. Okay, Cass, okay. 
I like to see it. I like to see it. I like to see it more of it. Oh, yeah. So Zachary. It was Zachary Ertz. It was Kaz Allen. It was John Bates and B Rock. So we put four of them things today in the red zone. They were focused on red zone drills today. So but probably see switch the touchdown pass is probably shorter. But uh, we'll see more of the bombs like that. You know, hope we get harm more involved. But that's time it's long. But uh, shout out to B Rob. He was a shining star today, called touchdown. Zach Rears had a good day today. Shout out to Johnny Newton for being activated. Shout out to Kaz Allen for having a really good day today. Uh, John Bates called touchdown pass today. Shout out to John Bates. And then, you know, shout out to Jane Daniels, man. That's what I'm doing for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, phone up, Greg. What's your thoughts on this video, man? Hey! That boy was shot! Ah, go crazy, man. I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited, man. Day one's in the books. Day two will be tomorrow. And I'll be back with a recap. So, till then, y'all be easy. Stay, stay healthy. Have a blessed one. Catch you on the flip side. Peace.